And then she got by the door and literally Sirachi sauce was like this, like with her hands out, like trying to stop her. She's like, you pussy, yo. that's why you're gay. You're pussy, yo. you butters, you pussy, yo. you're gay because your dad raped you. <laughs> Good morning everyone, welcome to my YouTube, my name is Abs Iggy, listen for those of you that don't know me, please make sure you subscribe right now, press that button, please give this a like, look I'm excited man because this is my first story time and uh, as you can see by the title you're probably thinking what are you going on about, well I'm about to tell you, so this is a true story, this must have happened about a year ago, so early January last year, it was one Monday evening, I met with one of my mates and um, we just decided, you know, had a few drinks at one bar and we thought, you know what, let's just go to another kind of popular bar that we know. So some people might know of it, there's a bar called G.A.Y. in Soho. Um, and on a Monday, it's uh, it's usually quite quiet, um, just because people like work the next day and stuff like that. Um, so you don't really find much people out. I am employed, by the way, I'm not unemployed, just letting you know. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so must have went into this bar now. Um, and if you know about G.A.Y., there's three floors, so you... On a Friday and Saturday, it's really busy. You've got a top floor. Sometimes you have to queue to get up there. Um, middle floor is where you walk straight in um, when you go into the bar. And then downstairs is more where the females go. Um, so that's more, you know, our territory, of course. And um, usually it's a little bit more quieter. Um, so me and my mate must went downstairs now. And we just thought, you know, we just want to kind of see what the talent is for the night. You know, just have a little bit of talk, vibe with anyone, see what they're saying, basically. <laughs> As we walked in, it was kind of weird. It was like a weird couples night, like friends were there or people going on like first dates or something. Um, so I remember walking in and there was a couple to my right, these two black girls. So one girl had, I think, dreads or extensions, um, more masculine presenting. And then there was a feminine one. And then there was a couple to my left, some white chick and some black chick and just a few other people scattered around. So me and my mate must have went straight to the bar, um, got two drinks and then we were just kind of standing around. And then the two... Two black girls that we saw coming in, the masculine presenting one and the feminine one. Um, I was looking at them because the feminine one, hoy, listen, she she was spicy. Like she was a rocket, mate. She was a weapon. Like that is my type. So I was kind of just looking at her, and the girl that she was with, the more masculine presenting one. Um, I don't want to be rude. Obviously, we live in a society where we judge people based on looks and stuff, but they just didn't look like. You know, they should have been together. Definitely, if they were at the time, I remember thinking the one with dreads is definitely punching, mate. Um, so, anyways, they were just sitting and like they had a bit of a weird vibe. Like, I couldn't really tell if they were together, um, if they were on a first date because the more feminine one, they all like because they had a bit of a gap between them and it was just a bit, you know, like odd. And there was something very unsettling about the uh, more masculine presenting one's um, energy. She just kind of was looking at us a little bit and and just looked something about it was just a bit off key um so i remember i said to my mate i was like right you reckon they're together she was like nah because that's how confident it was literally like beauty and the beast um and this girl masculine presenting one she was wham like mate she she was she was massive she was like a military tank she was a hench and then uh, the spicy one hey she was petite because i remember she had this little dress on all flowery and that and um i just remember thinking whoa he just looked so spite she she was like come like sriracha sauce yeah she was sriracha yeah let's go call i'm gonna call her sriracha yeah so anyways after like a few minutes like five ten minutes i must see sriracha now touching up um the masculine presenting one's leg so i was like to my mate no 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 i was like right like they're together she was like no you're lying i was like oh my days she was like oh my days i was like oh my days she was like oh my days we were just like oh my days like we just couldn't believe it um so i thought okay cool but there was still something a little bit unsettling like they just you know what it seemed like they were on a first date or something so i thought to myself okay cool i mean free for all really um but i kind of was a little bit intrigued like i just wanted to talk to sarachi to be honest because like i said she's a weapon so anyways me and my mate sat down and then i was still just kind of looking trying to gauge their vibe and sarachi saw she looked like she was putting in more effort and i thought you don't deserve that you deserve better Anyway, so sat down now and the more masculine presenting one, she must have got up and went to the toilet. And now me, <laughs> I'm an opportunist. So <laughs> I thought, you know what, I'm going to go say hello and, you know, just to see what she's saying, isn't it? So I went over. So we're, we were sitting, we were sitting like we are now and then they were sitting in that direction. But Sriracha Sauce had her back towards us. Um, 
so I went over and I was like, hello, you right? And she turned around with like the biggest smile, like angelic. She was like, hi, you right? I was like, yeah. I was like, um, are you together? Or you on a date? And she was like, um, um, now, guys, it's not, it's not a hard question. It's yes, we're together or yes or no on a date. She was like hesitating, like, I like, come like deal or no deal. Like, I was just thinking it's a simple question. And she was like, mm, yeah, we're on a date. I was like, okay, cool. I was like, is it going well? Again, the hesitation, people. She was like, um, yeah, yeah, it's going well. I thought, okay, you know what? You know, I'm going to be the respectable human being that I was raised to be. And I'm just going to leave it, take this L, well, not really an L, but I thought I'm just going to leave it and let her crack on with her date. However, as I was about to leave now, she must have said to me, how is your day going? How's my day going? So I'm a very logical person. And to me, I think about why people ask things, why people act in a certain way. You know, um, you know, I look at people's tendencies and stuff. And in my head, at that point, I thought she wants to engage in a conversation. I know if it was me and I was on a day and I was enjoying my company and someone tried to come talk to me, I'll politely decline, you know, and kind of let them go about their business because I might think oh, that's a bit rude to my date. But I thought, mate, she wants a bit of abs, maybe. So I was like, you know what? My day's going well. Um, and I left it as that. And in the back of my mind, I thought, okay, I've got about 10 seconds left before her date comes back and clobbers me around the back of my head for talking to her bird. So I thought, you know what? Let me just leave it as it is because it might be a bit awkward. So I went and sat back down and was just staring at her as, as, as her date came back. And then my mate was just kind of like, what happened? I just kind of basically told her briefly. And then I see Sriracha Sauce lean over and talk to the masculine girl. And I thought to my head, oh, mate, she might tell her. Um, not that I was bothered or anything, but I just thought like, it might get a bit awkward. So she must have said something to her. And then the masculine presenting one, you know what? Let's just call her a name. Let's just give her a name. Uh, pigeon. Yeah. Pigeonhole. So we got Strachy Saul, somebody got Pigeonhole, right? So Pigeonhole must have looked over at me, gave me a little bit of a death stare. In my head, I was like, okay, cool. She must have said something. Left it as that. Then a minute later, uh, Strachy Saul must have went to the toilet. Guys, I'm an opportunist. Opportunity number two. So, I waited a bit, got up, I thought, let me go chat to her. So, it was me, her, and a cleaner, my auntie, yeah? So, I walked in, and she was washing her hands. I was like, hi, you right? She's like, yeah, you are right? With a big smile again. I was like, so, what's your name? And she was like, mm -mm -mm -mm. She was like, what's your name? I was like, Abby. So, you know, at this point, you know, she's engaging. I was like, so what, how long have you been seeing her for? She was like, um, six months. I was like, six months? Six months? You've been seeing this girl for six months, she's not wifeed you yet. I was like to her, you're not going to get wifeed. Ladies, it's not going to happen. It doesn't take six months to decide. If you're in a relationship after six months, it ain't going to happen. And then she was like, oh, no, nah, she likes to take her time. She likes to take her time. I was like, all right, how old are you? She was like, 26. I was like, how old is the other girl? Um, she was like, 29. I was like, 29? And she's dilly-dallying. No, nah, love, it ain't going to happen. I'm telling you. She's like, well, we just like to take things slow. I was like, how slow? She's like, you know, we just like to take things slow. I was like, cool, cool. And I was like, where are you from? And she was like, oh, Fort and Heath. And then she asked me where I was from. I was like, da da da, told her. And she's like, oh, you're from South, innit? I was like, yeah. She's like, I can tell, you know, I can tell. So she's. Blood fire. Sorry, my car. Just lock it before someone tries to rob me. So she was, she was like, yeah, I can tell you're from South. And um, I was like, is it? She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, you know what? You're my type, though. And she goes to me, you know what? Mm, mm, mm. Should I do this? You, mm, 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 mm. you are my type. You, you, you are cute. You are cute, but I'm loyal. I was like, but what are you loyal to? Six months. She was like, oh, I'm just, but this shows that you can trust me. I was like, but we're not even together. What are you talking about? I was like, all right, listen, you got any social media? Can I get your Instagram? She's like, I don't have Instagram. I was like, Snapchat? She's like, I don't have Snapchat. I was like, Facebook? She's like, I don't have Facebook, man, I was, I was thinking, I was going to ask for MSN next, I didn't even know, My, My Cloud, SoundCloud, whatever, and then I was just like, in my head, you're lying, listen, some people I know aren't into social media, but everyone at least has book face, Facebook, everyone has it, so in my head I thought, alright, cool, she don't want to get at nothing, she is really standing her ground, she's being a woman, and then I was like, but how am I going to ever see you again, and she was like, you know what, I believe in fate, and if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. I was like, no, that's dead. And then, what she was doing, guys, she was, like, addressed in her cleavage and stuff like that. And I, I must have just given her, like, one look, like, up and down. I was like, you're my type, man. She was like, 
again second time she goes you mm, 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 you are very cute and, you know you are cute but i just can't because i've got to be loyal and i'm on a date and it wouldn't be nice i was like okay she's like you know what let's just hug this out i was like, I was like all right um i wasn't gonna complain about that now you know we we hugged and oh mate it mate yeah it felt like five minutes in paradise i felt like i was on a special island god gave me right there and then it felt amazing it was like we just weren't ever letting go of each other it was probably about two seconds to be fair um but it felt like a very long time and then she left left me with a cleaner uh gave her three pound because i'm very nice like that walked back now sat back down and my mate just looked at me like oh you trouble i thought mm, felt a bit awkward and then i see pigeonhole looking at me again like proper looking 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 i thought oh mate stop being insecure left it as that i thought you know what let me drown my sorrows get another pint so i went up to the bar grabbed two drinks for me and my mate now i started walking back right to my seat i swear guys had two two pints in my hand right as I was walking back, all I heard was, hey, 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 Bruh, I swear to you, I jumped, almost spilt my drinks. I thought, who is making these animalistic noises? I thought, what human being can make such sound? I looked back and Pigeonhole is standing up, screaming, pointing at me. I don't know what she was saying. I was like, hey, 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 hey. No, poor Sirachi saw she's there, like she's trying to tame the beast. I just thought, oh, poor Sirachi. But I was scared for my life because I thought, I don't know what you're saying. And you're making funny noises and you look scary. So I'm just going to hastily walk back to my seat with these drinks. So I started sitting down with my mate. My mate looked at me and she was like, it's on. I was like, yeah, it's on. Everyone was looking at this point because everyone could kind of see what was going on. Like I said, there weren't that many people. So it was a little bit like of an atmosphere at this point. Um, and she was still kind of looking like making noise. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I just thought I don't even know what you're saying, mate. Anyway, sat there. I thought, okay, cool. Um, and then she just kept pointing and looking at me. I thought, you know what? I need to interpret what language this is. So I got up and I walked over to both of them. I was like, you're right. She's like, why are you talking to me, bruv? I was like, huh? She's like, why are you talking to her? I was like, because I can. She's like, don't talk to her. It's me. I can talk to who I want. Why can I not talk to her? So I don't talk to her. What did she tell you when you went to the toilet? I was like, you seem to have all the answers. So why don't you? She's like, no. What did she tell you when you went to the toilet? I was like, you don't need to repeat yourself. Like I said, you seem to have all the answers. Why don't you? When you asked her, if she's got a girl, what did she say? I was like, she said she's on a date. And then at this point... Sirachi Sauce tried to intervene. She was like, No, what I did say is when you asked me if I was in a relationship, I was just said to Sirachi Sauce, Look, love, it's all right. You don't need to get involved. Just let us chat. And she like piped down. And then she was like, Don't talk to her. I was like, Mate, I can talk to who I want. She's like, Why are you desperate, bruv? Why are you desperate? It's me. I'm come on, like, I'm not desperate. Like, let's just be real. She's like, You're desperate, bruv. I was like, I don't know why you repeat things in two. She's like, You're butters, fam. <laughs> I was like, okay. She's like, you must respect me. Respect me. I was like, are you okay? Like, she, I was like, I don't need to respect you. You're not my mother. She's like, respect me. What did she say? Respect me. I was like, you're not even making any sense now. She's like, don't talk to her again. I was like, okay. Fifth time now. I'm going to talk to her if I want. There's nothing you can do about it. She's like, don't. Don't. You need to respect me, though. I was like, oh, this is boring. I was like, you're just repeating yourself. I said to her, you know what? Your date looks dead. I hope I ruined it. Bye. So I walked back towards my seat. Oh, my days. She started standing up. You pussy, oh, you pussy, oh, blah, 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 pussy, oh, pussy, oh, suck your mother, suck your mother, suck your mother, blah, blah, Everyone started looking. I just thought, did you forget to take your meds today? She was just screaming. And Sir Archie was just like trying to hold her back. She's like, pussy sucker, pussy out, like, pussy out. Well, like, her dreads just flying everywhere. I just thought, God, whatever that is, dreads with stenches, they might fall like you want to hold into your hat. Mate, she was going absolutely crazy. And my friend looked at me like, oh my God. In my house, thinking, this is great because, you know, it might so Sir Archie saw that she's with a mentalist and might break up and she might come find me and then we could be together. That was the plan. And my mate could see that I was getting a bit aggy now. So she's like, you know what, let's just go upstairs and just leave it. So I was like, cool. Went upstairs, got another Janelle. You know? I said to my mate, nah man, like this is dead, like this part of the bar's dead anyways. And I thought we were chilling downstairs, like why do we have to move? So I went downstairs and I see Sirachi sauce again sitting on her own. 
opportunity number three <laughs> so i walked up to her, to her again yeah listen god loves to try her innit so i walked up to her again i was like why did you tell her why did you tell her she's like, i didn't i didn't she clocked on me and talked. I was like, you told her like, how are we gonna be together she's like, i didn't say anything to her i was like you did like you ruined our chances she's like please 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 i don't i don't want any trouble i don't want any trouble i was like all right then that's cool and i took her hand and i kissed it and she smiled in it and i went blood fire this car scared me man anyways sorry people anyways so i took her hand yeah and i kissed it and she smiled at me yeah and i sat back down and i thought yeah. anyways pigeon will come back now put on her coat and her jacket um and then starchy sauce was getting ready as well to they were obviously getting ready to leave and then i see starchy sauce like grab her as if to like hold her down and stuff um and then as she was getting up she was looking at me in it i thought mate she might like try and smack me or something so i started kind of like standing up a little bit bracing myself and she's like you pussy off from your butt you pussy blah 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 you're a pussy you're a pussy you're a pussy and she started walking towards the door i was just looking at her like you're not actually okay like get back in your cage and then she got by the door and literally sriracha sauce was like it's like with her hands out like trying to stop her she's like you pussy yo. that's why you're gay you're pussy yo. you butters you pussy yo. you're gay because your dad raped you wait what this girl lost sense of who she is where she was and what she was saying i thought is this girl all right what what is she telling me <laughs> very offensive by the way and it's not even it's not even funny but obviously it's been, it's been a while i'm reflecting on it but i'm just thinking i didn't even say anything i just thought no nah, this girl's got issues um and she was still there screaming and the thing is she was still there screaming like she had her coat even on properly she was just a mess like screaming at me she's throwing all these threats and all these verbals and then literally she was still there just screaming all i heard all i heard off the door that's all i heard i was like i don't even know what you're saying mate um and i just left it as that <laughs> i felt pied off by the girl but listen i want you lots of opinion because i did think about this yeah was i in the wrong first of all like it's so a free for all. If you're on a date and I feel like you know you're into the person, you're gonna reject anyone that tries to move to you fat. But she engaged on me on all three levels. That says something, innit? Like the first time, or maybe she wanted to make the girl jealous. I thought because the first time I moved to her, she was trying to engage in convo and she knew that her date was gonna come back from the toilet. Do you get it? And the second time in the toilet, man, she was giving me vibes, smiles, cleavage action. Like she didn't give me the social door or the number, but still. Um, so what do you not think? Like, do you think I was in the wrong for moving to her? Do you think uh, pigeonholes mental? Because I do. Um, do you do you think she was into me, but maybe she was just trying to be respectful? Well, I guess maybe so. Um, and you know what the funny thing is? I must have stalked her. I found her social media. She's a liar, liar. Um, and she was no longer with a girl. Did my investigation. I'm I'm a researcher. So she's a liar, but her wasted opportunity, girl. Missed out on all of this. Ah. <laughs>